Greetings, Skyfarers, and welcome to another episode of Sunless Skies. I'm Cole Bothorium. In this episode, well, our terror is pretty high. So, we're going to head back to Magdalene's again. Uh, sorry that's just been us ping pong back and forth to Magdalene's, but our dice rolls have been absolutely atrocious. Like, well beyond, well below probability. I suppose it's just my luck. Or maybe it's not my luck. <laughs> maybe it's my lack of luck. But. Um, like, the first set of dice rolls was so bad <laughs> that I'm pretty sure that the dice got stuck and was not reseeding. Um. Because I believe we got seven uh, failures in a row on something that was basically 50% like coin flip. Which, you know, is unlikely. I mean, it's within the, the realm of possibility, of course, but it is very unlikely if these are, what, what would you call it, properly weighted dice. So... Anyway, what ended up happening with that is that we were barely able to scratch out enough... Um, no, actually, we, we weren't even able to scratch out enough uh, winning rolls to uh, to continue. Which, uh, we were doing it, them to... Oh, what is this? The hour of the wolf. Just late. And you are alone. Doubt. Praise on you. Is this the path you should have taken? You trespass upon the precincts of heaven. What price will be exacted of you? What price have you already paid? It will pass. Whoa. I don't want new nightmares. What is this going to do to us when we fail? Okay, five terror. That's that's fine. So apparently, every time that you get nightmares, they're harder to cure than the last time. So we don't want to get new nightmares. The prey, your doubt, your doubts are hungry tonight. They seize on your past decisions one by one, worrying at each like wolves at a lamb. Sleep is impossible. When your shift arrives, you arise haggard, unrested. You splash water on your face and wonder what mistakes you will make today. Eight of five terror and one tail. I think I did some pretty good voice acting right there, but now my throat feels like crap. <laughs> so, probably gonna be more phlegmy for like the rest of the episode, if not more. Oh man, I'm already. My nose feels a little bit blocked up. I don't know how voice actors do it. I mean, they can do their voices for hours. I recently did um, a voice directing session for one of my upcoming games, and voice actors are incredible. Um, you know, at first I was kind of like poo-pooing it because you know it's it's voice acting; it's not like it's real acting or whatever. Um, but it is. I'm really surprised at what they do. Um, but. Yeah, like, I always kind of hated, like, the voice acting union and stuff like that, because the prices are exorbitant. But in the end, they're actually not. I mean, the amount of stuff that you, like, a lot of times it's like 250 300 $350 per hour. Um, but for a decent sized game, you can get, you can get all your lines done in, like, an hour or two. So... Anyway, 
Um, we will treat our terror. We'll go with the guilt. Yes, yes. Be the first one of the past. Oh, it's going to take three. Treat the terror. Guilt. Yeah, yeah. Boring individual. Yes. Treat the terror. Guilt. Someone who once meant a great deal. Let's get out of here. Oh, actually, no, we want, uh, we want to pick up some fuel and supplies. Pick up an extra fuel. Uh, bizarre. What's, what's going on? Nothing. Okay, let's get out of here. I like the clockwork ticky sound of Magdalene's, too. I like the, how every other beat is like this this heavy, like, boom. It's just really satisfying. It's got this resonant bass. But yeah, so, like, um, voice actors, you know, it sounds expensive on paper. And I suppose it is expensive. You know, $250, $350 per hour but like a, a voice actor can do I don't want more terror oh god we're gonna have to go all the way around alright well the storms usually give you terror doesn't seem to be giving us much terror, if any. But we came over here to get rid of terror. Try to fly upstream here. It's going around is just too far. Well, that wasn't too bad. We got out of the slipstream pretty quickly. Only a slight increase in terror. So yeah, like a, a good voice actor can do many, many voices. I think that the union restricts you to having like three characters per voice actor or something. So, you know, you can get a pretty good cast of, of characters voice with all just a handful of actors. Um, and it really is incredible. Like, when they turn it on, it's... Like, they sound completely different, and it sounds really super professional. Like, like you don't realize how much an ordinary person's voice does not sound like a, a character from a video game or a cartoon or whatever. Uh, we've done this one before. No fires on the ship. specimen. Can't believe we're going back to Kurillin again. I have to say Kurillin is probably my one of my least favorite locations in this game so far. If not the least. It's just you spend so much time there. It's just full of these weird dice roll things. 
And it's not clear as to, like, what the point of any of it is. We're getting close to a battle. Should we go and check it out? Oh. Maybe I can tank her. Take her right. Where's he going? Well, whatever. It's taking us out of our way. back again. We're gonna contemplate the statue, get rid of some terror, because terror is the coin of the realm here. Um, yeah, all we needed left was an inescapable truth. We have had best luck with this here. Um, although I'm not sure it matters. I am just being superstitious. You suck! Not you, listener. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Okay. Let's go back to the Zen of Gorilla. I don't know if I'm being superstitious or what, but it seems like... It seems like the roles tend to... Just... Whatever. They seem to get in... There we go. In a groove. And you just... Over and over again, get the same, same roll. All right, did we miss any? Need indulgence. All right, let's go back and see if we can find some indulgence. I don't understand. Some of the penances are clearly penance, and some of them seem not to be. Like, deprivation is sort of the opposite of indulgence, right? You're depriving yourself. Shift in perspective, yeah, you, if you're forcing yourself to look at things a different way, I can see that as a type of penance. And it's enlightenment, you know, you're, you're making sure about learning stuff, and that makes sense. Penance ordeal, that is a very reasonable penance. Penance excess. Does not seem like a, a, a normal penance. Endurance? Yeah, okay. Wait, how do we get... How do we get the last type of... Hmm. 
Let's go into each one. Wait, we have ten? Wow. Oh, it, it's any pennant. Alright, well, what was the name of it again? I recognize it when I see it. Deprivation. It was indulgence, wasn't it? one I just tried? I think it was. Hunted Grove. Oh boy. Can we just go here? I don't know what to do. And maybe we have to do some of these other things here. Do. 
Maybe it's this that we need. We can increase our establishment affiliation. Kadame. Maybe we can't. Bellamy, Bellamy. Penance indulgence. I don't know. I don't know what to do here. We went through all that effort, and now we're stuck. And I'm. I feel like. I feel like what they want us to do is to start improving the soul even more. But if we were to do that, we would cut off any possibility of getting back in here. Right? So, for example, if, okay, well, we already cured our lightless soul. Um, now, if we cure our fermented soul, are we going to be able to come back here? Perhaps you've eaten that which you should not. Perhaps you've come in contact with something unclean. At any rate, your soul has gone a bit off. Do we dare? It's gonna take up three penances? Oh god. Oh jeez. I worked so hard to get them. I really hate Kurilin. <laughs> it's an awful place. Are there any other locations here that maybe... I might have to just Google how to get this. Because it's not obvious. Um, it's not obvious what the next step is here. I mean, maybe it's this. But how do I get more establishment? And you'd have to complete some establishment quest, I suppose. We're only down by one. Or complete some more of our uh, crew quests. Because our incautious driver became establishment, right? Ah, oh, jeez. Uh, what does our journal say? About Aurelian? Nothing. Okay. Wow. I don't know what to do. I think we're good. I think our best course would be to just move on for now. 
pick up another crate of supplies. And then we'll move out. We gotta get down to old Tom's well. Um, so that we can pick up some ice. So we can make, bring it to the phlegmatic researcher down in stain rod and lead bellies, or I think that's what it's called. I think it's actually LMS. So lead lead beater and stain rods, that's what it is. Nature reserve. Man, that's so disappointing. There's one type of of um, penitence that is not that is not provided there, apparently. Actually, wait, maybe it's maybe then it's um, something that you get in Eleutheria. Is the the devils have their own little region in there, don't they? Visit the corpse of the Reach's son. Old Tom's well. Alright. Good chances. Let's go. Take a sample of black ice. A phlegmatic researcher in lead beater and steam rods, nature reserve, had better pay well for this. Or at least, you'd better learn something interesting. Sample. Not even the ice of old Tom's well can withstand the teeth of a strong saw. You cut through it easily until you've a solid block of ice with which to present to the researcher. Let's see what else is going on in here. I think we've read all of this stuff already. Probably nothing else we can learn here. This seems to. Excuse me, be more of just like an information character, and I don't want to do this. Alright, doesn't appear that there's anything really else to do here. So we still have our ammo, that's important. Alright, let's go. So one of my worries about uh, the Corellan thing was that a lot of the a lot of the areas can't be accessed if your soul is too good. Um, so you kind of have the situation where if you need a particular type of penance, you might not be able to get it. Tigler's haunt. Sigils glow on these ruins, lambent in the mist. Do 
Ew. Oh, this is probably it's probably gonna be some course or beehive. No, what's that? Hey, why didn't you take? I said take. Takey takey. Takey. Get away. Take. Okay, these will be the hives. Yeah. The Jetticus hives. Again. Oh, what's with the storms, guys? It's so annoying. Storm helped us make good time, but I don't like how it increases our terror, especially because Old Tom's well increases our terror. So. Once again, we're high on terror. But we finally made it to Leadbeater and Stain Rods. Join a hunting party! Join a hunting party. What threat? Can a few unruly animals be to a group armed with the sky's finest? Or it could reduce our terror. We'll do that. As much as I would like a cage catch, reducing terror is probably much higher um, concern. <coughs> All right. Converse with the fellow captains. What do we have here? 30. Nothing. It's for Apollonian cinders. That's new. Let's try that. Alright, I guess that's it for that. Wait. Oh. Okay, so this is just the loading bay. Okay. Capabilities in quest. Okay, here's the ammunition one. Discuss the phlegmatic researcher's secret initiative. Those comrades took ill. He's attempting to uncover why. He seldom uses his laboratory now. You'll find him in his cabin. Lying in bed with swollen red leg raised high up on a mound of pillows, the phlegmatic researcher flicks through pages and pages of notes. Something in the reserve has driven my comrades to madness. He raises himself up to look at you. You'll need munitions if you want to help. Let me know when you're ready. Give you the map as best I can. Into the reserve. You'll be going alone. You'll have only your wits and your weapons. The researcher passes you a map of the wilderness. It looks like the work of a child. The man who made that was one of our best scouts, he says proudly. But our worst cartographer. He died from climbing too high and the inevitable fall. Please, find out what has driven my friends to madness. Phlegmatic researchers study into a peculiar malady. Explore the reserve in search of the cause of the scientist's obsessions. You now have a map of the reserve. There are no more people here. It's just you and the birds and the flowers. 
the trees and the woodland creatures, the streams and bumbling insects. The evils are insidious beyond your guard. Follow the trail. The map indicates that you should continue straight ahead from the forking uh, from the forking road ahead. This is neither by Albrecht's River nor Violet Warl. Going on tours through the reserve will make this easier. Well, we got a hundred percent chance. The abundance forms a labyrinth. The trees on each side grow close together so that it takes all of your wits to navigate the undergrowth. But you forge a path through the bush till you emerge at a clearing. Every time this is going to cost us more munition. Jeez. This clearing is filled with powder blue mushrooms. They sway gently in the breeze. All other roots are guarded by fierce thorns. The wave onward is straight through. A hideous smell permeates the air, one powerful enough to knock a weaker spirited captain down as you pass a human shaped fungal lump. It is hard not to consider that may be exactly what has happened. When you finally reach the other side, it is some time before you recover your olfactory or you it's some time before you recover from the olfactory bombardment. Your map directs you to a cliffside which towers above you. Phlegmatic researchers study into particular malady, blah blah blah. The cliffs are colored like a mixing palette. There is a small cave opening. The map indicates you should travel through. Also on the map, circled and in red, is no light. It's as dark as unconsciousness. Progress requires focus. Hand on the wall one step at a time. The wall takes some hours. The walk takes some hours to complete, but you make it to the tunnel's end and light. Before you lies a valley. Enter the valley. Your trail ends in the heart of the valley. A phlegmatic researcher traced the source of his colleague's illness to here. It is a steep climb down to it. A hundred percent chance of success, you stupid. It is an awkward climb down into the valley. Your footholds are overgrown with moss, and the roots you grab oftentimes give way. Nevertheless, you make progress. Eventually, you come to a small ledge which affords you the opportunity for rest. It is at this moment that a monstrous bird of iridescent wings and the cry of an ox descends upon you with its talons. Take aim and fire. It's you or the bird. Though uh, the strike, uh, the, the shot strikes it in the throat. The bird smacks into the cliff side and tumbles into the undergrowth below. You travel inward until you come to an area cordoned off with thick rope and small cloth flags. You conceal yourself in the underbrush and observe the massed individuals uh, and observe the massed industrial workers of the lead beater and stain rod harvesting flowers with a spiky bloom. You take one for yourself and fight your way back through the nature reserve with significantly less difficulty than it took to get here. Phlegmatic researchers, researchers study into a peculiar malady. You found what the flag. Take what you found to the phlegmatic researcher. You've lost one carefully packed crate of munitions. Your map of the reserve quality has gone. The phlegmatic researcher sits among piles of paper. His fingers are stained with ink. His leg is swollen as ever. You can hand over the flower. Tell him what you found in the valley. 
The researcher digs his fingers into the petals and draws it out. It is coated with yellow pollen. This is what they use for Apollonian cinders, he whispers, sniffing gently, coughs violently. I feel goodness, goodness. This is it, the cinders. This is what's driven their passions all mad, driven my friend to ruin. And now the company is pushing, pushing it into the empire. He leans over and grabs a tall stack of papers. He dips his pen in ink and begins writing. I'll see. I'll see to it that they know the truth. I hope I can call on you. Phlegmatic researchers study into a peculiar malady. You help the phlegmatic researcher identify what has caused the obsessions of his colleagues. The researchers crusade. The researchers are on a crusade against the Apollonian cinders. You've gained 900 research, or research experience. So, blah, blah, blah. So we're about a thousand away, a little bit less. And one cryptic benefactor. New total, five. Phlegmatic researcher sits among his piles of papers. Yep, yep, yep. Distribute anti-cinder propaganda. Researcher has written many, 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 many pamphlets. <laughs> he mops his brow. The rag is ink-stained and darkens his forehead. Here's the current task, he says. Take them to Port Prosper. People must know. The researcher's crusade. You are delivering propaganda to Port Prosper. But we'll go back to the the base of research because we will turn in our research. And we can review the phlegmatic researcher's list first. Alongside his other work, the phlegmatic researcher is continuing his studies into the reach. Despite losing funding, what does he need? Come on. Click. I clicked you twice. More samples required. Data must be reproducible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've read all those. Uh, sure, let's ask about the rom romantic ornithopter. Nothing. Ornithopt ornithologist. An ornithopter is a is a, a, a uh, an aircraft that flies by flapping its wings. Uh, you might have noticed them in Dune. Um, I'm a big fan of Dune, which is why my brain immediately went to Ornithopter, but still, it's like a helicopter. But instead of heloing, like rotating overhead, it flaps wings. So, uh, okay. Turning in your research. Yes, yes, yes. To bring back something for the phlegmatic researcher. You found what is required to fulfill one of the phlegmatic researcher's requests. He will be, be paying you out of his own pockets. Fortunately, they are deep. Can't we just hand, hand in all of them? Mm. All right, I guess we're handing them in one at a time. It really is one at a time, isn't it? That is so lame. And in the wings of a course to be. They're in pristine condition. Phlegmatic researcher thanks you. And has them transported to his laboratory. Please do bring more. Oh no, this is going to be an infinite quest, isn't it? There are so many other things I can try. He has you a purse with a beaming smile. Uh, well. I guess that's that. And an ant from Homestead. After all the trouble they caused with your supplies, the researcher had better be pleased. The phlegmatic researcher thanks you and has them transport to his laboratory. Oh, it's the same. Oh, we'll just go through all of them. Oh. 
No, we're further away than I thought. Boo. all of them. Yeah. Okay, so this is just recycling. Well, that's disappointing. We're going to have another permanent resident on our list of us to do. Alright, uh, Albert's, Albert's Idol. Sky stories, sure. Well, I guess that's it. That's a little disappointing, but... You know, whatever. Anyway, I think that that'll probably wrap up this episode. I can't think of anything else to really do here. I suppose we could buy this tea. I only have six spaces, though. We should probably have supplies instead. Which means there's only two spaces for tea. Alright, I think that's going to wrap up this episode. A little bit disappointed with the... The fact that this experiment sanction for the company has just turned into an infinite quest. What is there really left to do in here? There's the Corellan thing. We're going to be going past Port Prosper anyway to, if we're going back to the Reach. Or to Albion, which we probably will be because, you know, one of the reasons why we wanted to come here was to build the Eleutheria tr transit relay there. It? Is there nothing to do left to do in here? I think that that might be it. We might have to leave the reach because we've got this. We've got the Corellan thing. Um. But we don't know how to get the last penance. And then we've got the export business. But we're going to be going by Port Prosper anyway to get to Albion. And there's this. So I guess that that's it. So I guess in the next episode we'll probably head back to... um. We'll probably head back to New Winchester. Uh, actually, maybe we should go by... We'll go to we'll go to New Winchester via um, Polmere and Plenty, so we can stock up on Bronzewood, and then we'll head up to. Uh, uh, but now we've we've got tons of extra stuff in our holds, which we don't really need. Well, that's disappointing. Well, we'll still be able to invest in some Bronzewood at least. Anyway, so I think that that's sort of the plan. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope that you enjoyed this. And if you have, uh, please like, maybe comment, maybe share, maybe subscribe. Uh, new episodes every day at f at 2 p.m. Eastern U.S. and Canada. 
I'm Cobalt Thorium. Thank you very much for joining me, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.